friends welcome to my youtube channel called avidi manufacturing so today we are going to discuss on a topic called process validation so dosto aaj ka lecture khatam hone tak aapke jo concept hai on this topic would be very clear kafi logo ko process validation mein pata hi nahi ki hota kya hai बस लोगों को बोलने आता है पीवी 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 प्रोसेस वेडिशन प्रोसेस वेडिशन बट दे आर नॉट अवेयर अबाउट दिस टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड द अंडरस्टैंडिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडेस लेक्चर सो आई नीड टू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट यू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच ऑफ डूइंग द प्रोसेस वेडिशन सो इन द ट्रेडिशनल अप्रोच फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू गो फॉर द डेवलपमेंट फेज the moment any product get develop in the design phase that products need to be transferred into a production department so r&d mein kya hota hai r&d mein koi bhi jo product jab design hota hai na wo ek pilot skill level pe hota hai the moment i transfer this pilot skill level product into a production department i need to do a skill up on the tech transfer first is a tech transfer then followed by the skill up then patches Let's say I was making a gold and a particle of 500 ml in the R&D phase, but now since I have transferred this 500 ml protocol to my production team into a production department, now what do they have to do? They have to meet the demand for the market. So in order to meet the market demand, they need to do a scale up for 500 ml of gold and a particle to approve 2000 ml or 5000 ml or whatever. So first is the development. then tech transfer or the scale up then the moment it have been tech transfer the production team needs to manufacture a three process validation batches usually we call as a three test batches so while doing the manufacturing of the three process validation batches they need to document a certain procedures in the form of record log books or whatever If there is any changes amongst these three PV batches, those needs to be controlled via change control system of the annual review mechanism. So what happened? So I have explained you like from the R&D how it moves to the production area. So it's like a cyclic process. So first of all, you need to design your processes. Then the moment you design the processes, you need to conduct the process qualification. then a continuous process verification so i hope this is clear my friends so now let's speak about the validation life cycle of the vmp which is famous by a name called vmp or the validation master plan so any organization or any company they need to stick with respect to this plan which is called as a validation master plan so what happen in the validation master plan in validation master plan there are mainly three category the first category may comes all the qualification activities in the second category the validation activity comes into the picture and the third category is the validation phase or the revalidation phases so as you can see my friend i mentioned a vmp in pink in color and there are four yellow boxes this yellow boxes are none and all these are four yellow category or the division first is the risk analysis on top of that then the qualification phase then the process validation phase then the validation the maintenance phase so before you set up any facility you need to do a process qualification or you need to go to a first phase which is a qualification phase where what you do whatever the instrument which is installed in the premises you are going to do a basic procedure which is a dq iq uq and pq i am not going to go into a detail that what is a dq what is iq or what is okp because those are basic terminology all this four types of qualification needs to be governed by a risk analysis procedure to minimize the risk right the moment any company finishes up the qualification phase unko kya karna hai unko process validation ke phase mein enter karna hai now what happen maine to iq okp ki kar liya apne instrument ka ab kya hota hai ki us machine ko main apne processes mein use karunga by deploying the remaining resources apart from the equipment which is machine i am going to deploy man method and the material right so what happen in the process validation i need to 
perform mainly three types of validation. The first one is a cleaning validation which comes as a ISO clean room class. The second is a computer validation if I am using a computer for my QMS processes. And the third is the analytical method validation which is more or less it belongs to the quality control department. Let's say my qualification phase is finished. My process validation phase is finished. Now what do I do? One time I have validated a process. Now based on the criticality of the processes I need to set up a frequency of revalidation cycle. I mean let's say in case of doing the manufacturing of the medical device which is the IOD inverter diagnostic kits for the rapid test let's say there are critical processes for example conjugation processes okay the drying processes or any other processes so for those few processes since, since that process is going to impact our end result of the product I need to set up a frequency of the cycle like how at what duration I am going to conduct a revalidation for example, again I have a clean room, hai. let's say I am going to maintain the ISO class 8 for doing the manufacturing of a particular product. So let's say I have done a clean room ka validation. Kiya. So based on the usage, based on the criticality, I need to revalidate my clean room after 6 months or 12 months or whatever. So this is called as a revalidation. Entire this process which is either the qualification or the processes or the validation of the maintenance phase they need to be monitored and they need to be governed by the change control systems. So I hope this is clear my friends what is the VMP? VMP in short risk, qualification phase, process validation phase and maintaining the validation phase which you have already done. Now my friends what is PV? PV ka uddesh kya purpose kya so PV, जब भी मैं आपसे पूछूं कि PV क्या होता है, PV का मतलब ये होता है कि आपको सबसे पहले एक तो document evidence create करना है, right? So performing PV will help in creating a document evidence that the processes what you have set is as per the specific design parameters and are capable of repeatedly and reliably producing a finished good of a predetermined quality. So I have told you that we have made PV batch, hai, 3 process validation batches, right? I have told you first, in the lecture ke start. So these 3 process validation batches, when I make it at any given extent, I need to maintain document of the processes. I need to have a BMR, I need to have a log sheet, log books. Okay? I need to capture every detail, right? From the man ka requirement, the operator detail, the equipment ID, everything. The moment I produce all these three batches, then I am going to perform a QC on all those three batches individually, right? At the end, I am going to demonstrate that whatever the process validation what I had carried, whatever document which I have maintained, it is giving me the reliable result in all the three batches at any given days of time, right? So this is clear like what is the purpose of PV. Scope. So usually what is the scope? Scope is that all critical production processes which have a direct impact on the product quality must be validated with emphasis on the critical process steps, parameter, equipments and involved. So, friends, this is why the process validation is important. Because if you have processes set, you have to the process to revalidate it, you have to judge it, you have to check that you have made the processes, they are wrong or wrong. Let's say, if I am strip cutting machine, if I am cutting my uncut shit, so cut karke main aise rakhta hu by right hand or by left hand i need to validate it which is the best method right so usually what happens this process validation should always be conducted on two types of product the first one is a new product and the second is an existing product so i hope this is clear right So now the question comes at what and when the process validation is carried on, at what time. So for the existing product which is already running into a market which is placed into the market, okay. If any changes occur in the master formula, a PV should be conducted. If any changes are there in the manufacturing of the packaging processes, again PV should be conducted. If any change in batch size, again PV should be conducted. Any change in process equipment, again PV should be conducted. So these are the best possible four 
parameter where the PV is really required. Not only on those four, but if there is any change in the raw metal like the source, the supply change or the metal from any characteristic, again you need to perform the PV. Any change in packaging material or the site transfer, like if I was having a site one where I was manufacturing a particular product, I'm transferring this product to us another site in terms of the scalability. Again, I need to perform the PV. So I hope this is clear, my friends. So there are mainly three types of PV, like uh, approach by which you can do the PV. The first one is the prospective, second is concurrent, and third is the retrospective. Right? So before we uh, go in the subsequent slide, let's understand uh, what is this uh, three types of approach. So I'm not going to go into detail, I will just tell you. Let's say, आप कोई नया फैसिलिटी बना रहे हो कोई नया प्रेमिस बना रहे हो तो वहां पे आपका प्रोस्पेक्टिव पी वी लगेगा क्योंकि आप डे वन से कर रहे हो जब आपने प्रोसेस इंप्लीमेंट कर दिया है बट ड्यूरिंग द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन प्रोसेस आपको कुछ नीड हुआ करने का देन देर कम्स दी कंकरेंट पी वी अप्रोच ना वॉट एपन लेट से आपने प्रेमिस सेट कर दिया प्रोसेस सेट कर दिया मगर आपने स्टार्टिंग में भी पी वी नहीं किया मिड में भी पी वी नहीं किया देन वहाँ पे क्या है आपको वॉलेंटरली आपको पी वी कंडक्ट करना है नोइंगली कि आपके पास कोई डेटा अवेलेबल नहीं दैट इज कॉल्ड इज रिट्रोस्पेक्ट पी वी सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर माई फ्रेंड्स क्वेश्चन कम्स कि क्या हमें तीन ही बैच पे परफॉर्म करना है या पांच बैच में या छह बैच में दस बैच में तो देर इज नो सच स्टैंडर्ड विच टेल्स यू कि दोस्तों आपको तीन बैच पे प्रोसेडेशन करना है या दो बैच इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन योर रिक्वायरमेंट इट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी ऑफ द प्रोसेस द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ द प्रोसेस चेंजेस एंड द रिलायबिलिटी ऑफ द प्रोसेस कंट्रोल बाय इंप्लाइट सो यूजुअली क्या होता है कि फॉर द प्रोस्पेक्टिव एंड द कंकरेंट वैल्यूशन मिनिमम थ्री कंजिक्यूटिव सक्सेसफुल प्रोडक्शन बैचेस आर रिक्वायर्ड राइट सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर माय फ्रेंड्स सो For the retrospective validation, data from the 10 to 30 consecutive should be evaluated to assess process reproducibility and consistency. So, दोस्तों जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि जो retrospective होता है वो तब applicable होता है जब आपने कभी पहले PV किया ही ना हो. तो आपके जो भी पहले जो पास जो batches बने हैं production area में, जो भी आपने market में place किए हैं, you pull all those information, previous 30 batches or the past 20 batches, and compile the report and understand whether your PV is really required or not on that top of that. So I hope this is clear, my friends. Okay. Now let's talk about like what are the prerequisite requirement for conducting the PV. So first of all, there should be an approval for the change control document, approval for conducting the process validation protocol, approval of MFR, facility equipment utilization should be have been qualified and calibrated properly, my friends. Then, before conducting PV, your analytical method have been validated. Your raw and PG metal ingredient supply have been qualified and approved. All personnel involved in the validation have been trained in the relevant SOPs. So, all these are basic prerequisite required before you go with the process validation processes. So, the question comes about the qualification, right? So, as I told you, like there are two types of qualification, three types of qualification mainly based on the resources. First is a machine qualification which is equipment method qualification material qualification right so these are types of qualification so now we are going to speak about the material qualification so whenever you conduct any kind of validation study due to change in the material grade or anything you need to produce a minimum 3 batches by using a three different lot right and they should be tested by the qc department first of all primarily for any change so this is called as a material qualification So what happens usually? Sometimes what happens? The testing is not required in all the cases. Okay. So depending upon the supplier credibility in terms of the QA ratings or supplier management related vendor rating forms, you can skip the testing procedures, right? Which is only handled by QA under the supplier vendor qualification procedures. I hope this is clear, my friends. Now, now let's speak about the process flow chart for the process validation. So you can see there are Processes which is the blue in color and the green color, right? So it starts from the product development process towards your reference side. The moment you develop the product or the processes, you need to compile the report. This moves to the subsequent stages, right? Which is the categorizing protocol. 
followed by product characterization then the characterization the report the moment this rnd phase part is done then it will move to a blue block where the process validation will be conducted by the production team so i hope you must have enjoyed my today's lecture please do like my video comment on my video and share my video in your, in your network and please help in growing my channel thank you take care bye bye